Hey, Kendo. Hey, mate. Max. Hello. 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 How are you guys doing? Good. All right. <laughs> Good to hear that. How about yourself? I'm good. Um, we have a haze here. I think like will be some fire burning here. So last weekend, but it seems to be clear now. This guy, I think, is good. <laughs> oh, good. Whereabouts are you from? Um, in the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area. So oh, okay, from... yeah, yeah. The smoke was coming down from Canada. I was actually in Santa Clara last week. Ah. And and uh, Monday was clear. It was nice and clear, but Tuesday. It got all hazy. Right, right. You can smell it, actually. I can mm -hmm. smell you when I open my door, so I just want to go out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you, are you still here, or you, you were you here for like some conference or meetings? Uh, PCB West. Oh, okay. There's so many conferences going nowadays. I'm just lost track. <laughs> <laughs> it's, they're, they're all coming out of their COVID. And they all yes. want to. They all want to have a this meeting this year if they didn't have one last year. Yes, they're trying to cover the, the 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 missing for the last two years. I'm trying to yeah. get together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we have that global like I um the OCB global summit in two weeks. So mm. I wonder if you guys, any of you, are coming and joining. Yeah, I'm not going to be there. Oh. Where is it at? Uh, it's here in the uh, thing is the uh, same place in Jose or Santa Clara. Oh, that's back in the same. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I bet into the uh, hopefully there's they, there's no more heads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. The the challenge of PCB Design West is it was on the same week as the uh, Thursday night football game. Oh, so which one did you choose? <laughs> uh, actually, I, I, I finished and got out of there before the game because uh, the Hilton warned me that like after 11 o'clock, you can't get out of the air, their parking lot. Ah, okay. Uh, so is... I was I was like, okay. <laughs> Good reason. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then the uh, convention center, they were trying to limit parking there because People were bringing cars for the football game and then trying ah. to leave them there. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, they kind of got to have a com com competing for space now. Right, <laughs> right. I'm great, that's what. How was the How was the conference? It was great. It was great. It was. It wasn't as busy as it has been in the past, um, but I think that's a little bit to be expected. Right. You know, the afternoon lightened up quite a bit. On the the the, the conferences were great. The the expedition show was only one day, and um, by the end of the day, it had really thinned out. It was busier in the morning. Okay, so that's good to hear. Are you are you more focused on the PCB side or you're on the chip? Um, actually, I'm more on the PCB and the substrate design. Ah. Got it. Uh, that's, you know, uh, the Valor MPI product, if you're familiar with the Valor products, that's where I, that's where my responsibility used to lie. So, so design for manufacturing is my expertise. I see. Got it. I think Tony might not be able to join today. He's traveling. Oh, really? Oh uh, yeah. He, he, he asked said. me. He asked me if I was going to make it. I didn't turn around and ask him the same. <laughs> uh, right, right. Probably you should have done that. So I'm um, trying to stay my screen. I think I'm um, looking into like, what we have uh, talk about. I need to rejoin. I think I. I think I'm using like updated Zoom. I will rejoin then so I can share my screen. <clears throat> All right, I'm back. Let me see, I can share now. Um,
By the way, I tried to reach out to Michael, Michael uh, Telcom from, um, um, who is the one I think that right, worked closely with JTAC um, and trying to get an update on the um, status on uh, if we are, if, if, if JTAC would be fine using the um, YAML as a format. Uh, traditionally has been using the uh, Aurora XML. So we want to see if that YAML will be compatible with them and then there will be uh, no issue, I think, like, to be integrated with them. Since we talked about last time, we plan to um, uh, integrate and use uh, our work with uh, JDS, the platform I, I, for the cooperation with industry. I think I, we have been working with them in the past on the mechanical side, I on that um and and uh theoretical side uh on the jet 30 so and and uh, we have a happy bonding there and they write to continue working with us and we would like to do the same so that's why we like uh thinking about like uh potentiating continuity efforts along this line and with this right uh assembly design kit as well so but i haven't hear from him i trying to reach him today but i haven't heard from him um can there, by any chance, do you guys like, know him or able to reach him? Or I, I, I actually know Michael. I can see he's out of office right okay. now. Okay. Yeah. And see, uh, he's a white boy. He can join and, and give an update on that and see if that for me will be okay. Uh, Tony was asking about that. If we can, yeah, check, run yeah. back to him and see. I, I'll put him a message because he works for Siemens. I'll, I'll put a message in, yes. his, uh, in his team's message that you'd like to talk to him. Right, right. That's why I, I have been text him and call him. Yeah. Him as him I'll, invite, but... <laughs> I'll give him a I'll give him a little. Uh, a yeah, little maybe he's in the meetings or something yeah. else. Yeah. Right. Yep. Okay. Uh, appreciate that. So um, and yeah, David won't be to join. I'm not sure. I haven't seen Jawad since this morning. He probably right out out of town. So I uh, so and from the last week, we I think we went over the um. The discussion, I think, I uh, where uh, Jen has presented the die format um, for for that and use cases from the Intel standpoint, uh, and uh, so and then we we went over like discuss about this YAML right standard uh, standard uh, versus the XML. So I think it seems like there has been more uh, kind of like push and also right like, like preference like, to use the YAML. So I think that's why we're checking with JDEC right now. Uh, and then we also like kind of like briefly, I think I went over the um what we should cover, right? And 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 um uh what's the scope, right? So and then we like I took the reaperty, I think I took Chris special, I think I as mentioned last week, I think I to capture up what we have talked about, I think I in terms of component wise, so that I think I put it here and clear and see like. Uh, uh, as a starting point, right, this, this as a draft, I uh, let me share with everyone so that I think like uh, you see everyone agree on this one and definitely I think this is just kind of like a uh, starting point right? and then we see we can extend from there. Um, so let me share this on the chat here and everyone should be able to open it and edit on it. So um, from last time we talked about, we have, yeah, talked about, right, the area we want to cover here is like the RDL, the, always, obviously the, all the subjects, right? So I think a different like sequence subset, organic, interposals, uh, and including the routing as well. Uh, and then there's a like a uh, general like, package, packaging, like placements, like the die to die spacing and things like that. Uh, we also yeah, talk about the 3D stacking, like TSV, I potentially there that we should be considering. Uh, and definitely the assembly related, the bump to bound assignment rules. Uh, there's like uh, all the couple bureau, right? Couple bureau, like the uh, bonding. So I think, and we talk about that, like, there's like internal versus external that we should be considered separately on that. I uh, think this is the, uh, 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 in internal means like within the dial itself and then there's external right from the package. Uh, and then there's other more kind of a future one that we discuss where there are laser, photonic, optic, optical, I think I, uh, uh, that is coming out, but it's still not there yet. So um, we will just talk about that. And we put out a brain bonding, which is like, um, some say, I think this is pre premature in the industry, um, which will potentially be continue, continue to be using there. 
So right, but then uh, in the 3D step, mosaic is not going to be as common in the 2D or maybe you at 2.5D. So we, we just kind of leave there and potentially may not be a priority. But we 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 think they still like uh use cases today, so we might write potentially still cover on that. And then there's also question comes on all the RF, right? So the radio applications, antenna, um, other things like the advanced packaging. So there's a uh, different packaging packaging types like uh we also cover I think like the uh, uh all this kind of packaging related heating and could cool. I think it's probably on the separate kind of role itself, um. And um, there's like a like prop card, wafer, so DRC, and then uh, pin. I think this is not, I think this is more kind of information. It's not a component here. So is, is that something that like um, cover what we talked about from last time, right? Do you guys see anything that um, missing here? Like um, anything else that we should be include here? Well, I think the the uh, the the pins, the one you eliminated. Oh. Um, I think that I think the perceived challenge might be there is that the the databases oh. today are not prepared for ten million pins, and so the question is, how do you represent ten a hundred million pins without having an instance for each for each pin? Right, I see that was what we I think I thanks for reminding that I think that's where I have a question. Right. It's not it's 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 the none of the tools that are out there today, I mean I can't speak for all the tools, but but the suggestion is is that all the tools are not prepared for that kind of um need. That's true, that's true. Yeah, we need a way to address this one. Right? So um that's Definitely, I think a very point. Let's put a comment here. Yeah, and you have 11 and 12 as duplicates now. I don't know what the intent was, but they're duplicates. Oh, yes, right. I think I, I was kind of halfway and then trying yeah. to capture what you're talking. Yeah. I think more mean about separating this one and heating and cooling, they kind of separate thing from this one. Yeah. Just from tracking that uh, pins, 10 to 100 million, is that the total pin count or the pin count on an individual component? Rudy Cadence. Yeah, I, I don't know. I this is actually the first call that I set through. It was just somebody asked me a question about it. Um, yeah. All right. Because, fair enough, because, Max. Yeah. Yeah. Because the the challenge is again, I don't know about cadence. I don't know. I don't even know enough about expedition to to answer the database question. But the question is, you know, if you have one hundred or one hundred million pin records and all the information, the pin, the the net name, all that other, all that other stuff that you need with it um would that bring your solution to its knees uh or you know do you have to do something like represent 100 million pins uh in some type of grid you know is and and then the additional information just has to follow um mm -hmm. you know and, and i don't know my, my understanding was that the solutions that they're out there today including ours might have an issue with a hundred million pins. I, I, but I really don't know. I, I, I'm not, I'm not the right person to ask. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yep. We do have the solution. I think last time what we talked about, right, in the um, previous, I think like the uh format, right, we talked about on the mecha mechanical and electrical. Um, at the CDXML right, uh, with the JDAC chapter D. So we have the solution called a hierarchical uh, interfaces where you can kind of write, um, that's including also a multiple instances in, in uh, instantiation. Um, so that will maybe, in a way, I think I help to solve some of this issue. Um, uh, um, um, what what was, yeah, in, I think I something some of you probably in, in, involved in that, right? I think I will work with right. I think there's an Intel involved as well. I think like um on on on, on this kind of, right uh, initiative. So enable I think I like, instantiation. So and enable I think I have a way uh to repeat kind of like these interfaces. I think I right. a lot of this um number like high 
high volume of numbers are, are many due to the that the, the data bus, right? I think I did just mm -hmm. getting larger and larger, right? So and many of things they're probably repeating, right? Because they are uh duplicate dice, right? Kind of in a way, right? You have multiple of them. Uh, each of them has kind of right similar amount of the IOs, and you want to repeat that because you have multiple like core CPU or memories that uh put in there. So I think that adds up to the number, but then there are many kind of right in a way it's a same structure. That's why I think that multiple instantiation will help many as aspect of that. Yeah, it might it might help. The challenge is that you can always put the records in a file because you're talking you're talking about how you're going to transfer this information from say one part of the process to the other. The the challenge becomes for companies like like Siemens and Cadence, and this is where working with the developers up front becomes very important, even if it's done independently, because you would like to architect this such that the software developers that have to develop the software later on to utilize that content, they don't have to jump through hoops yes. in order to make it work in their product. So um, I, I forgot who spoke a second ago from Cadence, I apologize, but this is why it's important to guys like him and I to have a general understanding of what this is and in my opinion, both of the all the companies that are developing solutions in this space should have a word on how this is stored, because we're the ones that are going to have to read it into our products. We're the ones that are going to have to figure out how to put this in the memory and manage it within our products, and uh, that should really drive how the data is stored within the format, not the other way around. You don't tell us. How you're going to put the data in we we work with you to define this well so that all the all the software suppliers uh can somehow handle that we don't have to know how each other each other are handling it but we should all agree that we can handle it this way um right totally i think that's why i think i last time i think yep. i think we work with the right uh Intel, I think as Siemens were involved, I think with Tony, okay. I, I, that's why this multiple instantiation I came up with. So I okay. think we have that as part of Jeff 30 and including oh, okay. hierarchical interfaces. Uh, okay. that's, that's why it came up with that kind of like, like proposal. Okay. okay. Um, I, I wasn't in the call before, so I, I just uh, explaining what I understood, that's all. I, yeah, I think I, yeah, if you, yeah, reach out, I think I to uh, Tony, I think I, Give you more, I think, uh, information. I think okay. Michael, yeah, I think uh, he helped to put that into the uh, JDA chapter 30, so he should know about, I think. Uh, got you. Yeah. I got you. That's why you're trying to get a hold of Michael. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, um, that, that's that's another reason why we want to follow him. I think I uh, there two two faults here. I think uh, one is that we, uh, 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 for this reason, right, some of these things probably can be reused and see what other things that uh, JDA might already have. Uh, enjoy mm -hmm. some of these things. I think I like, because like they have a JDA is a big umbrella, right? So they have like electrical, uh, <clears throat> they have like these right uh all the mechanical. Uh, they do also have some materials and 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 important some assembly related as well. So I think want to see like, maybe on some of the PCB and other side we want to see some of uh uh, uh solution they have might be able to up uh to apply here then we can just use whatever they are not have to reinvent the wheel sure yeah the jep um, the jep 30 does have uh 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 what you might call pin groups so if you had a if you had 100 million pins and they were all pitched in the same pitch you know from one another in the x and y then you could do that in just one record you would say the number in x the number in y and the dx and dy and it would create 100 million pins for you with just one record you still have to store all the electrical purposes for that 100 million pins uh separately right right yeah i think i see that i think that's part of what we discussed i think we have that kind of right. in the in the way in the cdxml i think it's more kind of like uh uh um um, um in in more kind of like a, a structure right more a schema defined that you can repeat that how many you want to repeat that that way so in right. you create one by one there and then you can have individual id and name on it there. yeah and then right the description. yeah i think the improvement that could be done is if you have say in you know, a 100 million pins you might have a million ground right um 
right now you'd have right. to issue a million ground records individually. It would be nice if you could say, look, this million pins are ground. And you just do that in one instantiation. You can't do that today. I think you ah. have to do each one individually. Right. I think you're more thinking about more like programming standpoint rather than the data structure standpoint. In a way, I think you can yes. describe it and then you can generate that way or you don't have to write in, have a way kind of like the schema way to represent that. Right, we can always make a suggestion for an improvement. That's a different story. Yes, I, I think I think that's that's a good point though. I think we, we can always kind of write, uh, I think that's probably this is uh, a forum for it, right? I think I mm -hmm. see that acceptable to the industry here, right? We have mm -hmm. a good representation. Mm -hmm. from both like tools and, and also like the industries like uh, uh, uh and, and see like uh, I think that's kind of the purpose here also I think yes like, kind absolutely. Of new standards yeah uh, absolutely Yeah, okay. That, that's good. And then also another thing I want to mention here is the hierarchical interfaces. I think I, for uh, the Fox here, I think I, I right, uh, um, um, not familiar with this. I think it's a kind of new standard. I think just re re recently, I think you, we discussed it. The JDA and JDA that's kind of introduced also is like able to introduce the hierarchy. Hierarchy, I think I saw meaning like, uh, once you create, in a way, very similar to object-oriented programming, right? So you, you create an object, right? Represent, I think, a group of your pins. That group of pins could be uh, uh, um, used and under a different interfaces, right? Uh, uh, you have another interfaces, like two, like two dial, and then they have a two similar same structure I.O. That's why you need to write, uh, have that hierarchical. So in the interface um, of that, a uh, particular dial, you can have like I/O as an interface, and then I/O interface you have some kind of like a uh, group of dial for a certain like power and things like other power. You have this kind of like right, right, uh, or, 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 or interfaces right for this kind of like uh, ground for just power, and then you can do that like hierarchy code that you can stack on top of each other. I think that's in that way. I think like, that was kind of defined to help to right uh, review some of these kind of like the interfaces that has been defined. Uh, and then uh, uh, and 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 uh, uh, stack on top of each other on 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 these interfaces uh, themselves. Is, is that make sense to you guys? Like, at this point, for me, it does. I think it's a little early, but yeah, at this point, it does. Um. Yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, I think I think yeah, that's that's kind of an idea. I think I right? saw so that many of these things like along those way, right? So that you can try to help in this kind of right, like, uh, sh share amount of the pins, right? Like, how to 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 trying to group like the similarities. I think like the commands pins together. I think I right? and or interface together in this case and trying to reuse them. I think like, and many of them. I think they. Um, definitely, I think I have is there a like hierarchy code? I think I from I like uh one layer to another. So, um, yeah, just want to to highlight on that. Um, any other things? I think I from anyone. I think I that we are not covering here. Right from. Um, uh, or you think that is good or anything that should not be here. I think that probably is trying, we're trying to use this as a starting point um, and, 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 and so that we can cover everything like uh, we, we, we think we should be covering here. And then we can potentially like expanding like each of them, right? I think like, like after that, I think we can expanding like each of them and then see what we should be covering in uh, inside each of them. Like this one, I think like there's a hierarchical multiple in instantiation and then also right let's put a comma right formula suggestion as well um um and and, and see like we can uh, uh um, 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 use this suggestion and and address the issue and come to agreement and and, and make the suggestion to be like a like a, a new standard there 
Hey Jen, I, I I saw you might be saying something, or I saw you just. Oh, sorry. Your mic is moving. <laughs> you, you have any input on this, Jen? Like you, you presented last week, I think like what yeah. Intel's are looking for, <laughs> like from Intel's perspective. Uh, uh this is cover everything here, or do you think anything? Uh, I I I yeah, I think so. I think it's okay for now. So we will uh, we're just kind of finalizing the our our spec and then we will we will submit it to you guys officially so so then we can kind of get your feedback so i, I don't have any updates right now but we should share something soon but yeah this is okay for now i see so so do you have any like, expected timeline like, in october november like or december uh i think end of october we're just waiting for some feedback from uh, eda vendors uh, so end of October is the estimated timeline. Got it. And and with that, you will come out. I think I with uh extending. I think I that slide that we you sh sh uh share show us like two weeks ago. I think I and then you uh uh um just kind of go over. I think I those a push that you and 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 also those kind of like uh uh uh. uh requirements that you are seeking there or right uh would right would would be agreeable is that the idea or uh you know let's let's wait on this uh because uh so i i just uh like we're we're close to like finalizing what we have we need in terms of like specs uh so, so once once i have the once i have that available then i think it'll be a better point of discussion Got it. It's okay. It's more kind of spec from this perspective, right? <clears throat> um, that's good. I think I okay. That's good to know, right? Um. So so, so maybe like in uh four weeks or something when we meet. So the today is the twenty eighth and uh the twenty sixth of October. So we can target for for spec delivery. Okay. Let's put that here. I think I agenda right. Twenty fourth, right? Twenty sixth. Uh, the next is October twenty sixth. It's okay. uh, four weeks from now. Yeah. Right. Thanks. I haven't looked my calendar, but um. Okay. So Zane, what you're supplying is basically a a sample of what you'd like a portion of the spec to be, correct? Correct. Is is the same YAML stuff that uh, Chris shared with you guys? I don't know if he shared with you, but have you seen the YAML proposal, Kendall? I think we're we're negative. just kind of negative. Okay. I think we might have shared it with some other Siemens folks. We were just trying to get some feedback from EDA vendors before uh, you know we we share it here. So just uh, like, like we have, we have, it's mostly ready. It's just, uh, we need some feedback from the EDA vendors before we uh, shared in this uh, form. I see. So you have like some YAML stand, I think I spec, I think I thought you have prepared. And no, it, it's, it's the same, I mean, it's the same stuff I shared a couple of weeks ago. Okay. So we have like we have it ready. It's just like before we share it, you know, in, in like an open forum. We just want feedback from our like vendors and stuff that they work with. So that's that's what we're waiting for. Because uh, you know this is this is much more open, right? Uh, so so that's why we just want to be sure that when we share here, it's 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 like it, it encompasses everything. Got it. Um. Yeah, that's that's good to know. But do you think like um um just want to make sure I think like we 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 are on the same page. I think I like, um some of these things I think we have here, I think I like, is uh we, we, we looked into your present last week. I think there are other things that we talk about. I think like that was uh on the separate meetings and separate discussion there. So uh assuming I think I just brought I think I like, what Kendall has said, I think I like, so Assuming I think I this should be more kind of super set, right? Will cover most of what you have there, but this also including some other like the new things like the 
wire bonding, like the laser thing that was not right uh, uh, in your current spectre, I think I saw this will be more inclusive, right? Inclusive, right? Is that correct, Jay? Yes, yes. Ours will be like a subset of this. Got it. Got it. Okay. That's good. I think I that, that's that's good to hear that. I think I definitely think that will help will be helpful. I think I once we have that, I think I right uh will 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 to use that as a alignment here. So I think I that help to cover subset of what you have there. And then while we can also continue working on like um the other side of the um assembly, I think I like information I think that we want to cover here. Um, would that work for everyone? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Sounds good. So, so then back into that, I think I um, we just went over this risk. I um um we're trying to go over again. I think I can see like if anyone else. I think I think about um. Anything that you things are not here, should, right? We we need to cover here, right? Um, if not, right, should we go into right? Uh, diving on each of these like, individual like, Um, what what do you guys think? Well, we're, we're, so we have like the. I just think it needs more. Um, you know, more detail in here. You've got to cover generically what I see with design kits um from from fab vendors or 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 um you know from foundries is they'll include like the die information in it so it'll it'll have the die the outline the border um for people like zane it's equivalent to like your die dot die file zane right it has um you know everything you need to know about the the interface from the die to the substrate and um you know the sizes locations and all that um it also has can have information in it like the placement like if you have um you're doing a design that might have eight hbms on it talking to your ASIC or talking to multiple ASICs of yours, you'll have the placement information where the ASICs go, the placement information where the HBM memories go. So it has all that that placement in it in the in the design kit as well. So I mean there's examples out there of how customers that I see customers doing it today, the problem I have is I don't own any of those examples. I can't really bring them forward. Um, Zane's bringing his proposal forward from from Intel, um, but but like Samsung has a, has their own format. TSMC has their own format. Uh, Global Foundries, I you know I don't really work with them, so but I'm sure they have something that they're coming up with as a format that's basically subsets of this right we're tr trying to combine all those in the one spec you know we really need people like zane from all the different foundry vendors and um, osats to come forward and say hey this is what's important to us um you know and that they buy in on this spec too and uh, when we're said and done that that is very true, actually. That's very true. Um, I just kind of put a note here. I think I saw we need to get more information on this. Um, so, so besides Jen, say, does anyone know or so anyone on the call here thinks that you guys can help? I think I, um, to probably some additional spec like Greg like Roger, do you have any kind of input on that? Do you think like on the ASC side, you guys can uh share anything that you 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 like I I expect that you guys think should be there? It's not that probably. So James, I I have a basic uh, uh, few clarifications. Okay. Um, things like um, your uh, thermal interface materials and uh, heat spreaders and uh, uh, 
mechanical things like stiffeners, uh, all those things uh, are covered, will be needed here, or am I, are those not relevant here? You're talking about this line chart, right? Is that right? Or... Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm expanding based on what uh, Kendall is saying, right? Similar things like um, uh, this is this is supposed to be like a like a representation of your uh, multi chip module, right? Mm -hmm. So with all the connections and everything, so that in, entails uh, things for the he heating purposes, like you mentioned, liquid coolant. That that comes outside the module. Um, yeah, but you can put it, but I'm just saying inside the heating materials, thermal interface material, integrated heat spreaders, so on and so forth, and also stiffeners uh, for, uh, you know, taking care of the mechanical integrity aspect as well. So is that covered, I mean, uh, in terms of details, or are they all not relevant, especially the mechanical uh, integrity point of view? Zane, does your, does your spec cover the heat spreaders and, and things like that? Do you know? Uh, it, it Right now it does not. It's only like for the, uh, for, for, for right now it's only for the, the die files. Oh, the, the electrical? Okay. Yeah. Well, the it? mechanical interface where the pins are and everything, but Law, well, I, I, I see where you're coming from. I mean, you, you're on the thermal side and you have to go hunt for all this this data, right? It would be nice if the data was included in in the specification. So if somebody knew it, they could actually put it in, correct? <laughs> yeah. Just so that, uh, you know, I, I don't know where that information will come. If, if it is not part of assembly design kit, that's okay. I just wanted to know. So you talk about power thermal, right? Everything else, right? So and mechanical. Mechanical. But this is more assembly. We do have a separate kind of a file with that where Jeff 30 cover a lot of mechanical there. Do you think that's something we might be redundant there or is that something different here? I don't know if uh uh design houses, I mean the uh, Intel's uh you guys use any of those formats, I'm not sure. But you know. The fine format, all those things we can figure out. I'm just wondering that what is the intent? I mean, this assembly design kit, right? Just as a, as a what all things it should finally, what will people do with that, right? If it involves these kind of stuff, then I'll implement it somehow. Yeah, that's a good question, though. I think I definitely need those need those information, right? Um, but where they're looking, getting those. Uh, standard format from right. I think that might be the question, right? And they're already out there some standard for this thing, right? So right, the chapter three part model today. Um, but if that are necessary, I think I have to redefine here or maybe like kind of referring and pointing there. Do you think that might be helpful somewhere, or if there's a way to pointing over there, or reference to there? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. Uh, I do not know enough. Uh... Uh, to see if there's something exists and people already use it, fine. I'm just uh, bringing up a uh, issue, uh, bringing up an interest. That's all. Right, right. That, that no, I think that's that's a very point. There. So, Jen, Jen, what do you see? I mean, like, so I think I definitely there's some mechanical requirement there. Right? I think uh, you guys present that. I think uh, that dial is that something that you also like to cover there in that YAML? I think like. I think maybe we need those since especially this is YAML going different format from the XML that we have on the JEP30. So maybe we have to redefine here in the at least in the YAML format. Is, is that correct, right, Jen? Well, I, the, 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 you know, it's just a proposal. So if you guys want to use XML, that's fine too. But the, the reason why we, we were thinking about YAML is because it's easier to read than, than uh, XML. Uh, hmm. But yeah, that's that's. I mean, the format can be anything, right? It's just if if you're like a designer, if you're looking from a designer's perspective, YAML is is uh is it's like you know human readable for lack of a better definition. It, it um, doesn't look like HTML, right? It, you know, when you look at it, it's more ASCII than than 
than XML, which has like a lot of the HTML type headers and footers and everything else in it. It just gets in, it just gets in the way. It is there, I know Excel can't write a YAML file. Like if you're in Excel, you can't write a YAML. I, I don't know whether it can read it. And I don't know if there's an, an XML to YAML translator or, you know, bi-directional translator out there. Um, I've played around a little bit with with YAML, and you know, like you said, it's it's pretty human readable. Whereas XML, I just kind of roll my eyes sometimes. It's like um, people will dump it out of an Excel spreadsheet, and it'll have all the formatting around the boxes, like you know, in in the XML. Like this box has a bounding box around it. It's like I don't care. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's that's not what I'm looking at this for. <laughs> Uh, I I think that you know uh, so uh, James, let's just wait till till we have that uh, when we're ready to share, and then we can kind of start a discussion there. So I don't know like hundred percent of all the specifics, uh, but you know, so I think we can use that as a starting point and build on that, and then you can still compile this as a high level list. But um, yeah, let me let me get that information, and then we can go from there. Um, yeah, I think that would be, yeah, one, one good proposal. I think just to follow up on that, I think like the, uh, uh, what you guys say, and then Kendall said, I think, uh, yeah, SML totally, I think, agree. It's not like that more human readable way. I think <clears throat> XML, I see that it's more in a way between the database, uh, and also YAML, right? Somewhere in between, right? I think it's not like database table. I think uh, that even harder, right? It's not even human readable. You have like, a lot of this kind of relationship behind relational, uh, or their space table, and then you need, need the SQL to really find information. So XML just trying to incorporate that schema into the text format, and then with those kind of like um, bracket of the uh, structure tag, I think I like, to define that. I think that's why it makes it harder to read. I think I totally agree with you guys. I think like, YAML is think it's more kind of read that way. It has a structure uh, in a way, but then it's one as strict because it doesn't have the schema to help to define the strict rules like what kind of type right what kind of right the like uh whether it can be repeating like it can be empty or it can be looping things like that it's very open that way but it gives some structure enough that has hierarchy it can be like uh 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 or uh, 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 right uh, uh human readable i think like that way then so it's in a way it's very similar to in that, in that format i think i use a lot more in the software side there's a json things like that i think like right uh, uh kind of that way so um but I think I um and I think I think I in related to this like that's why we also trying to check with since we talked about earlier we uh write to right like, potentially I think I work with the JTEC right to uh, uh use JTEC as a platform right to I uh, right or uh, uh, expose this standard into the industry right so uh, uh, uh and and JTEC tradition has been using a lot like right? XML. So we try to see if the YAML can be compatible with them, or if there's any transformation, maybe we can like work in that way. Then, so I think that's uh, 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 probably another dimensional consideration. Well, yeah. that's that's why I was asking if there was a YAML to XML um, converter or something like that. That you know, it, 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 just like I get data from customers all the time, it's in a hundred different formats, right? I, I have to get it into some kind of a standard format that I can I can go then read and do things. So, you know, a lot of times it ends up being an Excel spreadsheet that I dump everything in and 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 work from it there. Um, you know, it's the same way here. You know, when you have all this data, you don't necessarily start off with a YAML file or an XML file you're starting off with your source data somewhere in some system that's dumping out YAML, dumping out XML. Um, you know, there is no, you know, good way to go off and, and use XML directly as a user or YAML. You know, it's, it's going to be a byproduct of something else. So we're just telling them how to format their data. That's true, Kendall. I think I, actually exactly that why that's why we are doing this thing. I think we want like eventually, I think like hopefully, I mean like down the line, everyone using this standard, like including the vendor themselves, the manufacturer themselves. So 
uh, or, or, or the sub pair themselves so that when the data come in, they come in this standard format, there's no need even for the conversion anymore. Right. right. So even, even, yeah, instead of PDF or the data sheet, I think I, that we usually look at. So they, they will come with like, the XML or YAML, right? So we can just take that input and you use the same way everyone kind of agree on that and, and use the same thing. Then you can avoid doing this kind of like, conversion. Right? And then and, and many, of, many of time in this kind of conversion, uh, 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 they, 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 they are potential issue, right? Then we try to solve it, which I, the potential loss of the data, loss of information, it depends on how individual converting, converting it, right? How structured they're creating for that. Uh, sometimes I think like there might be, I think information that might not uh, or, or translate, I think like, 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 like uh, as, as accurately was intended sometimes. So uh, 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 I think that's probably another thing I think that like, we, Hopefully to try to adjust here. <laughs> I think that's why we kind of like like probably this uh, uh, uh choice of standard, I think I also I think I to me I think it's also important I get everyone agree on that so everyone kind of comfortable comfortable with that and using it. Um but but you're yeah, right. I think definitely they are out there. I think back to your question, I think I can do. I think they they they're out there. They are the converter out there. Definitely, I think a transformation. I think that so that can convert convert YAML file to XML. So that potentially, I think yeah, that could be another kind of writing like, an alternative for this thing. I think I, like like or uh, or make it kind of like the uh or uh, or uh, 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 compatible two ways like or uh, or uh, that use YAML as a primary and then like there's like uh. Uh, or converter, I think I like, to the XML, I think I like, that way then if 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 that's uh, uh acceptable and agreeable well, by everyone. Well, the other thing, since you you know you're a standards committee, um, you know I'm pretty sure probably XML has a a, a standard for it that's approved. YAML's fairly new. I I do you know I'm I'm not I'm not. Being bad mouthing on YAML, I like YAML. I'm just saying, you know, XML has has roots in in JDEC, and um, you know, YAML is fairly new. Is the YAML spec actually published somewhere and controlled by a standards committee? I'm I don't know, or is it just some open source um, language that you know um, people are, are are contributing to? Yeah, to my understanding, uh, YAML definitely just an like open standard kind of like format. I think I, that is, um, um, yeah, actually in, in, in a way, I think, yeah, yeah, it, that is like uh, open standard. I think like, like you say, um, I think, I think like more probably important is like the, um, uh, what you say, the second is that like if there any adoption, right, from anyone. But it's actually, let me tell you about it. The XML actually is like a proposal from the, that the W3, I like uh standard uh for the like this kind of like the like uh internet standard for this kind of markup language, but I think somehow it extended for many other usage such as this one. So uh uh but I think uh, more important maybe like the second uh statement that you made there, like uh which I think uh, we have seen yeah definitely yeah SML has been adapted, I think I uh, at the J there, I think I uh, OCPU also adapted some of these things. Uh, the question would be if there is any other standard body has been adapting YAML. I think that's probably your your statement there. You know, maybe maybe you know this would be good if we're the first. That that's fine <laughs> because I have basically um, two customers that that use YAML to do exactly what we're talking about here. They've you know it's it's complex enough of a problem that they've decided to move off of XML on the YAML like, like Zane did um, because of the complexity issue. Yeah, I told you on, on that, I think like, um, not kind of, I think I to, <laughs> I like, like uh, uh, I think I to confuse anyone just want to use the analogy. I think I, on the other side, I think I, on many kind of internet side, I think we have seen also like XML has been kind of moving away and people kind of adopting the JSON file in a way, very similar to YAML, a lot easier to, to read, uh, less structure and less format than the XML. And it's also a lot faster to process as well, definitely, right? Because it's like less syntax, right? 
<laughs> so I, I I I can see that where you where you're coming from from there. Um, I think I think yeah I think I but eventually since that we 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 still want to, I um. Re rewrite I think I like especially in the JTAG right to 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 help I think I to promote this so I think I to a lot of adaptation already with many on on industry that they have on their uh 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 uh, 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 uh the 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 members uh uh there I think right so uh uh, uh uh that's why I think I want to take an input from I think like uh JTAG side and see right if that's something the armor will be acceptable I think I. Right? From, from the standpoint there. They probably can share some experience with their larger membership uh, uh, with the industrial traditionally over there as well and see what's the input from there. So, um, yeah. Yeah, Kendall, any, any more comments? <laughs> I, I, I just, you know, I'm anxious to see Zane's um, proposal on the, on the format that they have and just wondering if anyone else on the, the call or whatever has a format that they're using already or whatever to, to propose to this. You know, that, that and like, um, you know, I... It's it's customer data, right? I I don't own it. I just see it. But like I said, I see it from other vendors. Um, they they have their own formats. They're all doing about the same thing. That's what we're trying to standardize. But if we get those formats from the other vendors, then we can go through and say this is definitely for 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 release one. This is the stuff we have to cover. And then a lot of the bullets on your on your list. Are, are placeholders for, you, you know, okay, if we want to include thermal properties, you, you know, this is this is where we go off and you can include the thermal properties or the heat spreaders or, or, or whatever, um, it, you know. I just like to see more vendors participating with, with the existing files they already have. Otherwise, Zane's just going to own it, and we're going to do it just like Intel wants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not a bad way. <laughs> oh, oh, hopefully, hopefully not. Hopefully not. Yeah, just, <laughs> yeah this is a starting point. Please. Yeah, I think that's a good point. Though. Does anyone know anyone or vendors that they might have something that they're able to share? I can try to reach out Ri Hong, I think from ASC and see they might have something they can share. I think like they uh, definitely do a lot of integration, right? On the assembly side, I think I stitch all this kind of right, they uh, 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 die together, right? So they do definitely have this kind of process. We used to work with them in the past, I think like for some of this SIP uh, uh, works there. So um, um, maybe they can, yeah, we do see some of this kind of right, the, the uh, 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 SMB rules, I think I right, right, we, that we 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 need to right uh follow there. So right and see if there's something that they may be able to share there. Yeah, if you know, you know, working with Samsung and TSMC, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm just a a, a person who does the work, right? I'm not, I'm not, I don't have the contacts into them to get, even go ask. Um, but but I I see going forward. It's something I could probably boil down into looking at their database, um, their file sets, and saying, "Hey, this is this is what we're we're looking at." But I think most of it's going to be covered by Zane anyway. That's why I'd like to see what Zane proposes, and then just fill in from Zane anything that might be you know missing from his proposal. Yeah, that makes sense. I think like we 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 kind of talk about TSMC last night, even Samsung. I think like the, the only charm with this seems like TSMC and Samsung, they have their own kind of like the standard right right now, like the three D blocks right the TSMC. So um 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 I'm not sure. I think like sounds like mm, they might not have appetite for for another new standard or anything like that. I don't know. I mean, I'm just kind of thought like uh, um comment on what, what, what I, I, I learned from the last two meetings that we have. 
Yes, you know they they do have their own their own format today, and you know as a package designer, I don't I don't fully agree with the way it's put together. You know, it's not it's not coming at the problem from a package problem. It's coming at the problem from an IC point of view, and some of the things that they have in there um, are just you know, there's nothing I can do with it on on the package side. There's no placeholder for for some of the the things they have in there. Not that they're not important. It's just um, you know maybe they should be in the spec, and we just can't you know we can't conform to that part of the spec. I guess is what I'm saying. It, you know, so they're lacking data in some areas, and they have more data than I can handle in others, and that's that's the hard part. I think I, I I totally agree with you. I think like we 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 can see that. I think like the, uh, like like uh, uh some of them before you know working with the TSMC on the silicon side. So, uh yeah, they 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 put restructure in a way that what best use for them. So I think I I like probably not not in a structured way. I think like that will be like good enough. I think like for preparing for the assembly right from the chip point stand of view, um. It is, I think, I know structure in that way. I think, like, 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 uh, uh, from that different perspective, um, totally agree in that. Right, if we if we can get them, I think, I like, to 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 help on this thing. I think, I like, for the formatting, I more kind of like the from the um um general also right like, chip designer perspective. I think that would be very helpful then. Um. Yeah, so we we may be able to try to yeah push that, but only thing I think I like, last time I hear from Tony also seems like he he might have tried in some way. I think I and 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 and, and I think I like, he 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 said last comment saying like we 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 aware of this three D blocks, but we 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 are not looking to. I, we just want to indulge in, in our more standard kind of in, in complement with that, no kind of like do it separately on that. So I'm not sure I sound like he may try to approach them about this thing. So, but maybe we can try to reach out with anyone that have any connection with them and try to reach out and see like uh, uh, if they will be in, interested in this like uh, standardization of the format. Yeah, they they seem to be ahead of the, the curve on um the Foundry and OSAT services, as far as like the three D blocks and, and and things, other vendors are not are not quite quite as far along down the road. They're there it's a much more simplistic format. So let's see what Zane has, and you know if you know I can augment that with with things that I've seen from multiple customers because. I know Zane has experience with other customers as well, but he's coming at it from an Intel perspective. And, you know, we definitely want to cover, um, you know, the general things that we have going on in the, um, in the industry as well. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, definitely. I think I saw in four weeks time, I think I saw we're going to, uh yeah, and then like, hopefully I think I will we'll come together. I think I with uh information from Jen. I think I saw I think I that that potential I think I think he also checking with other uh um um EDA, I think a vendors there. I think I seems like this should be covered quite quite a bit there, and then we'll go from there and see what is missing. Or, or what more we want to we, we like to cover here. Um yeah, that sounds like a good plan to to me. And, and meanwhile, I think I in, in the meantime, I think I we if anyone can find any other additional, I think I uh right uh, uh it's Kendall, I think I point out I think I uh, windows or like these right all set that they can kind of like uh willing I think I to share, I think I uh, uh, uh the information that they have that will be helpful, I think I to be used as the standard SMB. Uh, design kit setting like that we 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 like like uh we 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 should go go over those things. Um. Okay. Any other um agenda or things that you guys want to cover or talk about here in today's meetings? 
By the way, I see uh, Golan, you, you just joined, right, today? Or were you were you in the meeting tomorrow? I don't see in you in the mail uh in the list before. Who were you asking? Uh, go, uh, Gordon. Oh, Gordon. Yeah. Okay. This is my. Yeah. Question. Yes. Can you can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. I I I joined for the first time. I'm actually representing Deca Technologies, and uh, typically Craig uh, Craig is the CTO at Deca. He's at the meetings. Um, I just joined this one to to listen in. So yes, this is this is my first meeting, and I do not know the. I do not have the hundred percent context of the discussion, so I I need to look at minutes. But it, it feels like we're discussing about file formats, right? Um. Yeah. Just higher context. Like this meeting is right like, talking about the yeah some sort of like, like file like format like a standard. I think I like, more more than file. I think like, a like, data structure format. Uh. That mm -hmm. uh, That can be uh, used by everyone. I think like. Uh, like uh, focusing on assembly side. So I think uh, there may people like consumer of this, right? Like the IC designer, I think uh, the assembly, like definitely, I think, uh, and even some of this, like the like uh, chip supplier that they will know, I think uh, what like uh, assembly are require requirement for, I think they can kind of like, like uh, providing this information there in the data sheet and things like that so that everyone can, when they build this like uh, chiplet design or 3D IC design have this kind of like, uh, SMB rules requirements there, and then they will build with that in mind, right? And then the 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 vendor will also supply this information, right, in the data sheet or in this format, so that the designer can uh, use that information, I think, and make that decision, right? And 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 same thing for the assembly, I think, they, they can use that also, right, um, to to work with the SMB process, right, that can uh, be handled with this kind of right the information. Right. Yeah. No. That that makes sense. Um yeah, well well welcome. I think I'll free. I think I after you've seen uh, more information from meeting mm -hmm. minute. I, yeah. I, will, I will like uh if you can drop your email here, I can include you like uh, uh also in that uh email uh uh minute list that we are sending out. Um okay, yeah. No, I'll I'll definitely do that and I just need to go through it a little bit to kind of understand what was going on. So I'll I'll drop my email and thank you. Um, okay, so can you drop it on the chat here so I can write, uh, yes. have a copy here? Yes. Yep. But I think I see people are dropping on the top of the time now, so I think I thanks thanks for you. I think I um got it. Okay. All right, got your yep. email. Thanks. I will forward you that meeting minutes and look forward. I think I to any hear any like I feedback yes. comments you have and also look forward. I think I for your participant in the future as well. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you yeah. very much. Yeah. yeah. Right. Thanks. I think that's all for everyone. I think I yeah. Thanks for stay until this last minute candle. Okay. Okay. We'll we'll talk to you again in the next meeting. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. All right.